you mentioned uh, Herb served till about 1975, and he had Parkinson's, and so he struggled at the end, and he had the listening corner, some special ministries that he did, and kind of passed the torch to Larry and Marge Magnuson, who are an amazing couple. They came from Osage, Larry had been a pastor there, and they basically came without a contract. Is a quite a story. They just they just really felt they're supposed to be here. They became their first year-round living on-site employees at Camp Haddon. And so we, and they served from 1974 to 1985. They served faithfully and sacrificially. Larry was a guy after my own heart. He was, um, you know, as I remember him. Camp was smaller, than it, as some of you have been here a long time know. But he could fix anything. I mean, and the camp budget was very small back then, and he was very conservative, but he could fix anything with a piece of bailing wire and basically his Ford tractor. The best tool that Larry had was an old 8 in Ford tractor that um, he used to grade the driveway and plow the snow and mow the ball field. and even pulled out some cars in this muddy driveway that some of you can remember in the spring when we were trying to get in here. He was, um, he was a very reserved sort of guy, um, much as um, he deeply did love the Lord, um, I'm, I'm sure, and he made that known in a quiet way. But um, like my son one time said, and I kind of agree with, he said, well, if you spent a couple days with him, you maybe could get a smile out of him once in a while. And I know, <laughs> I know I, the same way with talking to him, it was kind of funny. But once in a while, if just the two of us were talking, I could get him to laugh pretty good. Um, so it, it was just a lot of fun. For myself, I, I just enjoyed him in many day ways. He was just a very down-to-earth, God-loving person, and I just learned to like him very well, even though I never could beat him in a game of horseshoe. Very few could. <laughs> That's right. um, one of his biggest challenges when my wife said we came up early on, I didn't grow up here, but I came up with a group of rowdy people from the Robbinsdale Baptist Church who pretty much pretty much um, took over the camp when we came. We usually had the biggest group here. And I remember Larry's, one of his deals that was kind of difficult for him is he had to get us quiet at night after we put all the kids to bed and started raising Cain in one of the cabins. They sent a greeting, and I asked Roger and Nancy if they would bring that greeting. Step over this way, please. And this is from um, Marge. Greetings to all lovers of Lebanon. It's difficult to comprehend what has taken place these 75 years at a place where tents were once erected, camp dishes washed and rinsed in 50-gallon drums, and swimmers learning new skills, ever alert to the buddy call. Under the capable direction of Dr. Herb Hazard, you knew that camp is for campers, and you don't forget it. Herb's heartfelt ministry was to see lives change, impacted by Jesus Christ. We couldn't spend all of our time looking back in rearview mirror, yet it does have therapeutic value. Today the faculty is vastly different, but the purpose under God's direction hasn't. Herb would be proud that what you observe today and dream of the future, faculty and ministry has and will take place through Bill and Lisa's blood, sweat and tears, along with a jillion other faithful servants. Herb would say, blessings on you. Love, Marge, and Larry.